everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name is Alexis and today I want to show you the best games to play on Christmas Day as I just mentioned today I want to show you the best games to play on Christmas Day these are games that we've already got in our house and we've been playing over the past year my son's head is now six so he's really got into playing games with us so like on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon we'll sit down at the dining room table and we'll play a game together and normally it's one of these and I thought these might be quite good to play on Christmas Day as well we'll probably play a couple of these on Christmas Day but I thought I'd share all of the games that we've been playing over the past year as I thought it might be helpful for you today. So the first game I thought I'd share with you is this a domino rally game. This is a game that I bought for my husband Howard um, only three weeks ago because it was his birthday so I bought it for his birthday and we played it a little bit. We haven't played it that much but when we did play it we really enjoyed it. So basically you start a chain reaction and it is quite addictive as well. So you can set up the dominoes on different stages and things. Um, it's great for indoors and outdoors um, and you have about 200 pieces and lots of different uh, things to put them on as well so you can make stairs and you can make bridges and you can do all sorts of stuff with it and as I said it was quite addictive and Howard and Ted and I really enjoyed this my mum's friend came as well and she really enjoyed it I bought this in Sainsbury's and I think it was on offer as well I think I bought it for about £10 um, it was in their Christmas selection so I don't know if they've still got one but if I can find something similar I I will link it in the description box below for you and the next game that I wanted to show you is a game called Yahtzee my husband found this in a charity shop I think Ted plays this in school and his teacher said that it's a really good game to play because it's all about adding up numbers and things um, so you roll dice and you have to add up the numbers and it's all to do with the amount of score you get I haven't actually played it but Ted Howard and my mum did and they all seem to really enjoy it um, it is a game that you have to concentrate on I think it's this one is for 8 plus and Ted did get a little bit bored during the game so maybe it's for slightly older children if you have slightly older children then I think this one would be a great one again as I said Howard got this in a charity shop so I'm not sure how much it cost but if I can find something similar I will link it in the description box below for you and the next game is probably for the British people out there it's called the best of British game um, and it's a quiz all about Britain and the best things about Britain as well um, I have played this Ted Howard and I have played it I think I had to give Ted most of the answers as well while we were playing it so it probably would be for more adults than children really but it's a really good game it's from the same family as the logo game so if you've got the logo game then you'll know what I'm talking about but yes we all really enjoyed this one um, and it's a bit like a pub quiz as well so if you like quizzes then I'm sure you will love this and then the next game is my personal favorite as a child I love this game my mum still has my original game at home Howard actually got this from a jumble sale from our local church so it is a slightly older version of the game but um, Ted has played it and he did really like it and I still love it as well but if you have a headache or you don't like noise then this is definitely not the game for you so basically what you do is you set out four hippos and you have to sort of bang them and their mouths open and they drag balls into their holes um, so, ooh, uh, uh, but yes we uh, Ted and I really enjoy this as I said I'm not sure how much this costs now because Howard got it from a uh, jumble sale at our local church but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. And the next game is Guess Who. Now, I didn't have this as a child. I know it's an 80s game, but I didn't have this one. But I think my husband may have had it. 
um, and it's basically a game where you have two boards and you have lots of people and you have to pick a card and then somebody has to each person picks a card with a face on it and a name underneath and you have to guess who that person is by a process of elimination so you put down so you'll say is it a man or a woman and if they say a man you put down all of the female faces and then if it's a if have they got grey hair and then if it's not then you put down everybody without grey hair and things like that so it's a really good game it's quite good for observational skills as well and Ted really does like this one as well he does like to play this um, it's for two players though which is a bit unfortunate but if you've got two kids at home who like playing with each other, then this is probably a great one for you. So yes, again, if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. So the next game that I'm sure lots of people have heard of that we love to play is You Know. Howard and I really love this game. Um, it's such a good game to play. It's not too hard and it's not too complicated. You don't really have to think too much with it. Um, Ted isn't the greatest fan because Mummy won last time and he got a bit upset that mummy had won i don't know why but anyway yes um it's a great one for kids as well because they learn about numbers and they learn in their colors as well i'd say probably five plus could play this i'm not sure what it actually says on the packet um, but yeah again a great game one Howard and I love because we used to play this with his grandparents as well so it brings back happy memories for us too so yes again if I can find this I will link it in the description box below for you so the final game that Howard Ted and I really enjoy playing is double this is a really great game it's really great for observational skills I think so it has over 50 symbols on various different cards it has 55 cards and there are eight symbols on each card and there's always one symbol shared between any two cards as well so you can always match a card um, it's very very good I really enjoy this game and uh, I think Ted may have got a bit upset again because mummy won a few of these games as well but yes um, you can play with uh two to eight players and it's age six or up um but i'm sure people slightly younger could play this game as well maybe five six depending on the child i think but yes a really great game and again if i can find it i will link it in the description box below for you so that's it that's all the games i have and i would love to know what sorts of games you love to play at christmas and would you consider playing any of these um let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already then please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye